All right, that's Jim at the Tall Timbers or Big Walt Nature Preserve. And I hiked it about a year and a half ago in the snow. Today it's muddy. And the creeks will probably, because it rained yesterday, probably get my feet wet. It's all good. Wow, such a world of difference between this and a year and a half ago with snow on the ground. Wow, this is beautiful. I was here five years ago, but the trail that I'm on did not exist. They've got that blocked off and let me tell you, this is so much prettier than going the, the old way. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. I will say that that massive tree is, I see in every, basically every video of this trail. It is, it's really big. Oh, this is a beautiful trail. Incredible. All right, there's the trail I just came in on. Back over there, there's a massive ravine here. You were going around it. Like I say, you used to never get to even see the ravines on the old trail. Please come back if you've not been here in the last two years. It is so much better, so much more beautiful. So much more to see. It is fantastic. I will say that these are sheer sides. Yes, there's a gravel road up there that you come in on. Um, very, very steep, very steep. So if you got young children, oh my, it's it's a. Uh, yeah, that's just straight off, almost straight off. It's so pretty though, but uh, be careful your young children. Wow. Look at that. Right on the trail. All right, I'm about 0.85 miles in. And there's a, the, the trail, this is a loop now, that uh, you will come up steps that way. You'll go down just a hill this way. You can go either way. I don't know why they say go left, but you tell me why the arrow's left and the hikers are going right, but you do you do do. Uh, I do know if you go that way, you'll go down steps and right into some creeks, some creek crossings. So depends on whether you want to get your feet wet first or last. Oh, so beautiful. Big Walnut Creek. Got a lot more water in it than it was the last two times I was down here. I don't even see that. A couple of bluegill. Oh, that 
That is so pretty downstream, so pretty. Not near as much water as I thought. At least in this one. Wow. I don't know if I can get off across without getting my feet wet, but I don't really care. I got extra shoes. We're good. Huh. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold my phone and try it anyway. All right. All right. Uh, it joins a stream down there. I got a cross there somewhere. It looks like I'm gonna get my feet wet. That is so pretty. And right over there's uh, steps. It seems like there's more steps than that on it, but I can't remember. Anyway, beautiful. All right, less than a quarter mile of car. This is one incredible trail. Uh, for those that maintain the trail, it's awesome. I've never seen so many blowdowns and yet it's impeccable or whatever the word is. There's not a blowdown across the trail and yet you can see so many that would be. So fantastic trail to hike, beautiful. Thanks for the trail maintainers that keep up with it. I'd invite anybody to come hike this trail. It's incredible. Beautiful. Uh, there are uh, 72 steps total. So uh, you can think of that, there's three creek crossings. Uh, so please get out here and hike this trail, absolutely. Incredible. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, anybody know anybody that can uh, do something about this? It would be absolutely fantastic if there could be a bench or two along the trail, especially at the top of the stairs, or at least one where the uh, loop trail begins, ends. Uh, that'd be wonderful to be able to sit down at the top of those stairs. Just saying, incredible, incredible trail.